Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Beetle Uprising. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is an early access build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. Let's go ahead and jump back into this and see if we can get any farther. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put down some food for these guys. Hopefully they appreciate that apple. Well, looks like they're pretty hungry. In the last video, we saw some of the food that we put down go to waste, so I have to be careful not to put too much food down if I can help it. They seem to really enjoy this thing over here. They're just rubbing all over it. They also seem to be pretty happy, too. Alright, let's go ahead and possibly get into a level. Um, I guess Red Rock? He's mostly dead. Okay. Um, we have to kill three swarms to get one star, complete all one star objectives in less than five minutes. Or, if we can complete it in less than two minutes, we'll get three stars. Um, we'll go after that then, fine. Who are we going to use? I'm thinking Rambo. Um, and let's go with, uh, sure, 50. 50 goop cost, that's 25 units. And again, it would be nice to be able to split these up into separate groups so I can cover more of the map. Instead, they're just sort of like one big cluster. Uh -huh. Limited amount of time, got it. Oh, we got some ants. Go get them. Yeah, get them, Rambo. No one can stop these guys. Oh, we got more incoming. Whoa! Alright, we're losing troops pretty quickly. Let's see if we can... How are we going to get through this? Can we get down here somehow? This looks blocked off, so I'm not exactly sure how to get down here. Can't go that way. Oh, okay, so we need to get over here somehow. Oh, okay, so we can go around on this rock. That's interesting. Yeah, go get him. Finish him off. Woohoo! Alright, so we beat that on three stars, which is kind of cool. Rambo isn't very happy about it because, you know, he's just put into combat. But, um, let's go ahead and put down some more stuff. See if we can make them happy again. There's a blueberry. Uh, here's a pumpkin seed. Um, looks like they're out of sleeping stuff, too. Put this down. Bed of leaves. Oh, yeah, they're tired. Look at them go. Here's another bed of leaves. And they're running right over to it. They're tired. New beetle. Burkek. Uh, how about just Kek? Sounds Klingon. And what's this one? Cami Axie. I uh, just. Axie is fine. Explore the lost beach. Explore to air is humus. Hummus, whatever. Uh, I might need some more food. Brains. Okay, you have some brains. 
sounds scrum diddly umptious. Maybe a drop of nectar. Again, we don't want to put too much down and have everything spoil on us. Oh, look how happy they are. Dact is supremely happy, so is Tup and Ugg. All right, let's go ahead. And ha let's go ahead and like forge for more stuff. We'll send. Who do we want to send out? Well, it looks like Dact has an eighty-seven percent chance to do well rested. We'll go ahead and begin that one. Um, we can also send seventy-seven uh, percent chance for given. All right, actually, let's let's send. Tup on this one, 98% chance for given harvest. This one is 75%, not too good. I will send Ugg on this one. These guys, 75% chance. 67, 75. Some of these guys need to be a little bit more happy or if we're going to send them out. Right, I guess that's good for right now. Again, we can unpause time here as well and watch them do their thing. Alright, so we've completed well rested, so we've gained some more bed of leaves, some beds of grass, some goop, and some XP. Alright, we got some food as well. Blueberries and an apple. Ooh, what's this? Slice of bread, hazelnut, two pumpkin seeds, and some more experience. Oh, good. Let's see if we can send them back out. 65% chance. 86% chance. Right, let's do that one. Uh, I like the 86% chance. I like those odds. 75% chance for Rambo. 98% chance for Tup here. Ugh. 75, the 77, yeah. These Keck and Axie are still young. And Rambo, I think, is still recovering. Although he might be better suited for other things. Sixty-seven percent chance isn't bad, I guess. All right, we'll send Rambo on this one, 75% chance. All right, those other ones should be coming back pretty soon. Let's check in on our beetles. Oh, looks like we might need some more food. All right, let's go back to our inventory. Oh yeah, we got plenty of food now. We got some popcorn too. Have some popcorn. Level up. We can now have up to 11 beetles in our nest. We have opened up a new room. Our swarms can now be larger. Up to 30 beetles in each swarm. They can now save up to 4 beetle appearances. I also got some other stuff. Um, I like that we're getting all this food. Looks like we need more grooming items. Okay, the scratching post will work for right now. They really want that. Ooh, I like that too. That's really nice. Have a sugar cube. Rotted apple. Mm -mm -mm. Man, they are chowing down. Rambo failed. Of course he did. Rambo's getting old. What can I say? All right, let's check genetics and see if we can make anything better. Um, so what is the highest strength? Top has the highest strength from the looks of it. 42. Or not. I want the best. Top is 42, Ugg is 42. Okay, okay, so Top is pretty high up there. 
H is health. Having a lot of health would be good too, especially on those combat missions. Perception allows beetles to see farther. Ferocity, how frequently a beetle can attack. It helps on foraging tasks. Armor. Hmm. All of these things are important, so I'd hate to see... I wonder what happens if we breed... Like, say, this with Rambo. I mean, he's got a decent amount of stats, except for perception and ferocity. I mean, I'd like to see someone high in that. Keck has high perception and fairly high ferocity. All right, can we... Who has higher ferocity? This one has 43, 20... Okay, so I want perception and ferocity to be high. There's Keck again. I guess we'll do Keck. Let's breed. All right, so comparatively speaking, they have all crappy armor, except for this one on the far right. Actually, this one up here is not bad. No red, except, well, this one doesn't have any red either. And it has high ferocity, which helps during foraging tax. You know, I kind of like this one, although this strength of 46 shouldn't be ignored either. I, I like both of these. Right, let's go with this one, I guess. Higher strength. We're going to call Guido. Let's call him Guido, because, you know, I'm Italian. I can, I can get away with that. Alright, so let's go back here. Let's see how they're doing. There's Guido, I think. I think they need more food at this point. Here, have some more popcorn. You guys really like the popcorn. Whoa. You guys are zooming all over the place. <laughs> they really like these pet rocks. I wonder if these food items go bad in my inventory as well. I don't... I'm not sure about that. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's go out on some more missions. Um, Keck has 100% chance of completing this one. How about Rambo? Rambo is 60%. Yeah, Rambo isn't... He seems to be okay fighter, but Rambo's actually not doing as well as I thought. I might actually scrap Rambo here. He's got high regeneration, and but he's got like low perception, like really low perception, and pretty bad ferocity. So... The only thing going for him is the moderate strength and this regeneration stat. That's about it. So Rambo might be out the door pretty soon. So look at Gup. That's terrible. All he's got is armor. I might actually get rid of Gup. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to get rid of these red stats. Uh, this one's not bad. Anything with, like, two or more bad stats, I might, get, I might just get rid of. Although, top... I guess we can, we can keep some of them to complete these missions. Alright, um... Scavenging, I guess. I'll send you out. Yeah, 67% chance. It's pitiful. Ugg isn't too... I'm not too happy with Ugg either. I would like to complete this one at some point. We should probably explore more of this area. Alright, let's fast forward time. Let's, let's try and get Rambo to complete this. 49% isn't good, but he's not good for much else at this point. Got some experience, at least. Well, rusted. Okay, so we got more of these bedding. We got a cotton towel. 
more food. Ah, look at this. There's more uh, scavenging things over here. All right, we'll send Tup out on that one. As it stands, they don't have... Yeah, there's not much to do with that. I can actually store the look of the beetle over here, too, which is nice. All right, back to my base. What do they, what do they need? Looks like they're out of food again. Oh, we've unlocked more space, too. That's cool. I'm not exactly sure what to make of these blocks yet. The Red Rock Trophy. All right, well, let's put that back here. That moldy bread is still in my inventory, so... I don't know if that's a good idea to give them moldy bread. I wouldn't want to eat moldy bread. Right, Top completed his mission. You have some food. Ah, Rambo succeeded. About time he did something for me. What's next? Okay, so we've got some scavenging tasks over here that we can partake in. 70% chance for Dact. Let's see if we can do better than that. 82% chance. Let's go with that. Yeah, Dact has a 70% chance. Maybe we should do more exploring. Maybe we can increase. Or we can just finish these off down here. 98% chance. 100% chance. Um, 100% chance, 100% chance. Rambo, 75% chance. Keck has 100. Yeah, Rambo, what are, you gonna, what are you good for there, Rambo? Not much. He's got a lot of, he's got uh, sufficient regeneration, but the rest of it. I might just scrap him. All right, let's go ahead and just scrap him. He's he's taking up food that I could be using for other things. Sorry, Rambo. Your time is over. And Tup's about to kick it too because I'm not I'm not liking I'm not liking the the negative stats on these. And and Dact has three negative stats. Guido now has a red negative trait and ferocity. Oh, food's not going to be a problem for a while. Yeah, compared... Okay, this, this Dact here, I think he needs to go. Sorry, Dact. You're going to get juiced. Huh? Huh? This beetle you're about to juice has one or more unique LLEs that are... The, I don't know what that is, but cancel. I wonder if they're referring to... Oh, okay. These genes contribute this many total points toward the stat. Oh, okay. So I think they're referring to maybe armor and regeneration. I, I can... All right, let's do this. Maybe we'll... Let's see if we can breed some better ones. We'll go with... I, I mean, Guido is pretty darn awesome. I like Guido, but... I can't breed him right now. He's not home. All 
All right, now he's home. All right, so I need one that's high in ferocity. Top seems to be the highest with 43. Ugg. Top and Ugg have the same stats from the looks of it. I guess we'll do Tup. All right, let's breed these. Oh, I thought I had Guido over here. What's up with that? Oh, there we go. All right, we'll do Tup and Guido. Let's see what we get. Um, actually, this one right here. Oh, no, this one in the middle. Three stats that are, like, really good. All right, let's stick with this middle one. Kiki Yuna. Um, I, I think Yuna just sounds better. I, I don't know. Do we want to breed more? Or should we let Yuna grow up? See, again, Dax, that regeneration stat I'm not too crazy about. What if we get rid of you and juice him? Uh, I guess they the regeneration stat's like the best. Let me check the regeneration. No, see, Yuna has the best now. So we don't need him. If we want to breed anyone for regeneration, we can now use Yuna. So I'm going to get rid of Dak. Yes, I'm sure. Guido's okay. He's he's average now. Uh, Keck is still doing pretty darn good. His regeneration stinks, but other than that, I'm tempted to breed Keck with someone else. Someone with a high regeneration. Maybe Yuna and Keck could get together. Look at Tup now. Blech. Although his ferocity is pretty high. Tup and Ugg have the same stats. So I'm thinking we can get rid of one of them. Let's get rid of Tup. I like Ugg better because it sounds more caveman-esque. And we've got Axie over here. Axie's okay, but... I like the look of Axie, though. That looks really ferocious, that red... All right, well, let's go back to our, our poor... They're probably starving at this point. All right, let's assign some more bedding. And here, have a rotted apple. Oh, no, I wanted a apple. There we go. Have a rotted apple. Yum. And some moldy bread. You guys like moldy bread, right? Have a drop of nectar while you're at it. I think that's rotten food over here? Not sure what that was. Man, were they hungry. They don't really seem to care for these blocks. I'm not sure why. Like, all they're doing is sort of rubbing against them, but I don't... Kind of like a door. Oh. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. I can move it somewhere else, I guess. I guess if I wanted to, like, stop them from going somewhere or give them a path to follow. I guess we'll keep exploring. Um... Ugh, 71% chance, Keck. Oh, okay, Axie's excellent at that. Axie has high uh, perception. That makes sense. Alright, um, let's see if we can get more food. Now, the stats to get this, I mean, we need a high scavenging task. Who would be good at that? Perception? Perception is good for all types of tasks. This is for foraging. So maybe high perception and for, uh, foraging is what I need for these food collection ones. All right, let's 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 try and get some more items. Begin, 77%. 77%. 
76. Okay. Poor Rambo. I miss Rambo. I might have to create, like, Rambo 2 or something. Alright, fast forward. I also want to recomplete this one and try and get three stars on it. I can send Yuna in there to do that. Alright, let's do that. We'll send in Yuna because Yuna... Heck. Alright, 30 units begin. The hard part is, like, again, we've got this group that we cannot split up, and there's insects coming in from all over the place, so I'm trying to... Sounds like something out of James Bond. Not welcome. Alright, well... Go get him. Guess we're supposed to just chase him down. They have a minute and a half to do this, really? If they came at me... That'd be one thing. Here, they're just- they're all over the place. It seems like high speed is encouraged here. All right, we got it. The cleaning up trophy. We also got some other items. Pack lop. <laughs> I like pack lop. Terpness. Sure, terpness. Why not terpness? Alright, what do they got to offer, though? Well, they've got a high- this one has a high ferocity. That's about it. We'd want to breed this one for its ferocity, but nothing else. And there might be- yeah, Ugg here and Terpus seems to have the same stats. I might just get rid of Terpness. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna juice it. Um, we also got Packlop. Packlop- I'm not liking that one either. The, the stats on that one kind of stink. It's good for regeneration, but that's about it. We have Yuna here who has a 32 as well, so why would we even breed Packlop? So I'm thinking... Yeah, I just think we juice this one too. Yeah, forget that. Poor Ugg, he's got- look at all his negative stats now. And when it's in the red like that, that means that there are other, you know, compared to the other beetles in, in this place, we've, uh, they're like the lowest stat. So he's got five, he, out of all the seven stats, he's bad in five of them. So we're probably going to get rid of Ugg at some point here. So I'm thinking maybe we should just put him out of his misery now. What's the highest ferocity state? Uh, here's the thing. His ferocity is 43. Kex is 42. That's not bad. So I'm thinking if we are going to breed anyone, we'd breed Kek. He's got three good stats compared to everyone. All right, let's get rid of Ugg. I'm sorry, Ugg. Your caveman days are over. By Ugg. All right, let's see if we can breed, say, Una, definitely. Una, whatever. Una, Una. And then Axie's actually pretty bad now. All right, let's do Kek. All right, breed. Um, looking at these... Oh, look at this one over here to the left. 48 strength, 50 quickness. I like this. All right, we're going to keep this one. How the heck do you pronounce that? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven consonants and one vowel. It's it's like Kashyyyk. 
I just pronounced Kashyyyk. Okay, that's from uh, Star Wars. That's the Wookiee home planet. Anyway, uh, the PRR Perth. Yes, that's even better. I can actually Perth. There. Can I breed Perth while he's young like that? I don't know if I can. We could try. I'd want someone that's high in health or regeneration. Who's high in health? That would be Keck. We can. That's that's weird. Oh, that was Yuna that I picked. My bad. Well, let's see if we can choose anyone here. I mean, this isn't bad. I guess we can choose this one on the bottom right. Keep that one. Uzi Oper. How about just Odor? Just that works. Odor. Hodor. I wanted I wanted Yuna and Pert. Or or no, we need some with high uh, high regeneration if possible. Una and Pert. Or do we want? You know, we'll, we'll take Una. All right. Um, compared to area, this one on the bottom left looks nice. The regeneration stat kind of stinks at thirty, but. Everything else looks pretty decent. Mm. The one on the right here is kind of nice. I mean, the regeneration on this is 32. Yuna already has 32. So that's the thing, like... <sighs> this is tough, only being able to choose one. Alright, let's go with this one. Pert Ugis. I'm just going to call him Oogus. Oogus. That works. Alright, so we're, d we're done having fun with that creator for a while. I mean, they need food, don't they? Alright, let's give them an apple. And a blueberry. They're on the all-fruit diet. Mmm. Have a pumpkin seed. Oh, they're hungry. These poor things. Let's put down our trophy. Cleaning up trophy. Can I reposition? Oh, there we go. Ooh. 15 beetles in our nest. We can form up to three swarms. To defeat our enemies, our swarms can now be larger. Up to 35 beetles in each swarm. We can all save up to five beetle appearances. We also got a bed of fur and barb soap. Got some other crystals. All right. Um, I, I, I want to put this thing. I want to create like a little trophy room. I can't move it. Oh, there we go. Taking this thing up is not easy. Right, there we go. All right over here. I'll fix it later. I love these crystals. Those are so cool. And I want this one. Sure. Pump. Kumquat. Mm, yum. Alright, so I think I'm going to put a cut in the video here. Lots of fun so far. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.